Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Winter and I'm a bitch. Today we're back reading confessions for my winners, my followers. Let's get into it. It's for y'all. They here. I've been with my boyfriend for three and a half years now and his family is just weird. A little backstory, two years into us dating, I noticed he had this girl in his phone under the contact, my favorite. Immediately, I asked him where it was, and he said it was his cousin, so I didn't think anything of it. Little did I know, him and his cousin had a sweet home Alabama situation going on. Girl, one night he was sleeping, and I decided to look through his phone, and what I saw almost made me throw up. There were saved videos in his Snapchat message thread of her twerking on him, grabbing her ass, and her in a thong rubbing her bare ass on his back. I was so mad, I started shaking. Then I saw that they were sharing locations and following each other on Instagram and TikTok. The only thing I couldn't find was her iMessage text thread. I realized he had deleted it. <sighs> Should I break up with him or fight both of them? Don't fight them both. Just break up with them. Fighting them will be a waste of your time. Hey Winter, love your fits girl and I adore your voice. Thank you. So here's my confession. You can have an opinion by the way, but I love the taste of my girlfriend's blood. Okay. Um, you said I can have an opinion, but um, technically I can't because you drinking your girlfriend's blood doesn't have to do with me. It's not my, not my business. So I don't have an opinion. <laughs> me and my ex have also been on and off. Since we broke up back in January, he started dating a girl who I had met two weeks before we ended and became close. Instead of staying away from each other, we continued to text and hook up. Recently, I started dating my current boyfriend and things have been going great. My ex and I still stay in contact and he keeps talking about us getting back together and giving it a real shot. I guess I'm still in love with my ex since it doesn't feel right being with my boyfriend. I don't want to hurt my boyfriend, but I also don't want to continue to hide my feelings from my ex. Me and my ex have really great memories. At the same time, he can't break up with the current girl and I don't want to hurt my boyfriend. I feel like I can't be a good girlfriend right now to my current boyfriend. My current boyfriend thinks that I'm going to cheat on him, but that goes against all of my morals. I've been cheated on and it hurts worse than a breakup. I've only been with my boyfriend for about a month and he's already talking about how he's so in love with me. I feel horrible because I feel like I can't give him the love he deserves since I'm still in love with my ex. What should I do? P.S. You could be as brutal as you want. I'm glad you said I can be as brutal as I want. Um, I think you should break up with your current boyfriend until you figure your shit out. I don't know how long you and your boyfriend, the, your ex were together, but I feel like if you break up with someone, you need to stay single until you're good with yourself and like absolutely sure you're over your ex. You should have stayed single and, and now you gotta hurt this dude's feelings because you're not over your ex. I don't agree. So me and this guy have been on and off for a few years. Before I met him, he dated my cousin, but not really my cousin, just a longtime family friend, but I never knew until it was too late. We've always had issues because my sister doesn't approve of us being together because of the past, and she says that it's wrong. He lives really close to my cousin, and I live in a different city, and they also share mutual friends, so I feel insecure about it, but he always reassures me that they don't see each other. Sometimes I feel like it wouldn't work because of all the times him and my sister argue, and it's very ongoing. My sister tells everyone that it's wrong, but everyone seems to be okay with it, and my sister also gets in my head a lot about it, so I push him away. I really like him, and I want to be with him, but I just don't know what to do. Could you give me advice can you tell your sister to shut the fuck up and mind her fucking business are you allowed to do that if you want to date someone who your sister sees is not good for you that's your life that's your prerogative once you fuck it up if you were to fuck it up it's your life to fix i think this is your life and you need to face the good and the bad of it by yourself not by yourself not like that but like tell your sister to mind her business if things go south for you then they're gonna go south but i don't need you down my back well, recently, my boyfriend's older brother's girlfriend confessed a secret to me that her and his stepbrother slept together. And she told me she felt bad at first, but she did it again. And I feel bad for my boyfriend's brother, but don't because he can be a Am I in the wrong for not saying anything? I don't know what to do. I will love your opinion and I will like to stay anonymous. P.S. I love your makeup. Oh, I forgot to tell you, he also has a girlfriend too. Um, it's not your business. You technically don't owe any loyalty to your boyfriend's brother because it's your boyfriend's brother, so I... Hey, Winter, you look gorgeous as always. How'd you know? I'm not the one for beating around the bush, so I'ma jump in. There's this guy who's a few years older than me. I'm 18, he's in his mid-20s. He seems a bit suicidal because he had no friends, so I thought I'd try to be nice and befriend him. Long story short, we just didn't click because in reality, he doesn't want any friends, he just wants sex. On top of that, he's very much misogynistic and narcissistic, so I cut contact. Fast forward to the present, he got mad that I unfollowed him after seeing his story saying, if you don't like me, unfollow me. He didn't like that and caught a little attitude about it. I explained why I unfollowed him and now he's trying to take me out to eat and hang out. 
I said no, but he seems a bit persistent and he, I'm kind of afraid of blocking because he gives me very weird vibes. What should I do? You should try your best not to get murdered. Um, that gives me he's going to take you out to eat and you're going to be the one on the plate in a bad way. Um, I'd block him if he gets weird. Call the police. Me and this guy, Daniel, have been best friends, well, Daniel, have been best friends for four to five years and suddenly he just stopped talking to me. I'm a girl, by the way. We used to talk every day, late night convos with him were the best. It's my birthday today, happy, happy belated. And most of my friends texted me except him. Out of everyone that I wanted to wish me, he was at the top of the list, but still nothing. I tried confronting him a month ago, but he just left me on read, then replied two days later saying that everything was fine and that he would text me the next day, but to this very day, he has not talked to me. I tried asking the rest of his friends, but they all just ghosted me. I don't know what to do because he still has replied to everyone else but me. I don't know what to do. Can I get your opinion on this? That is weird. The only thing, like the only solution I would think is that like he has a girlfriend and his girlfriend doesn't want him talking to you. That is the only thing I could think of. Honestly, I would give up. I'd be like, if you don't want to talk to me, then don't talk to me then. Because people are at any given time allowed to get up and walk out of your life, even if it wasn't like a girl in his life. People are allowed to wake up one day and be like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. So you kind of just have to swallow that. Um, move on. Hi Winter, so I know this is gonna sound bad, but am I a bitch for telling the school officer that someone was vaping in the parking lot? I know no one likes snitches, especially me, but let me give some context. Last year, at the very beginning, I had a class with a known druggie and I became friends with him and he added me on Snap so I added him back. At the time, I had a boyfriend and I thought this kid was just a classmate friend. He had other ideas. If I left him on open for too long, if I left him on deliver too long, he would freak out and accuse me of talking to other boys when I repeatedly told him that I had a boyfriend and that he was absolutely not mine. I finally had to unadd him because I felt concerned and unsafe by his actions. He responded to that by finding my cell phone number and calling me a hoe in racial slurs, which doesn't make sense because I'm white and so is he. A few months later, me and my friend were sitting in the parking lot at lunch when we saw him smoking. My friend reminded me of what he called me and how he kept physically following me around after, and we went to the officer and told him. Later, I found out he was suspended for five days, and he let me know I was even more of a slur bitch than before. Am I? No. He was a f***ing weirdo. Bitch, you knew I had a man. Back the hell up. They sent more messages. Okay, girl, I have another confession. I made out with my best friend and I'm in love with him and he's not in love with me. I lead a very interesting life. Didn't you just say you had a man? And then another update says, oh, wait, girl, last night we made it again and he said he loved me. But I don't know if I love him. The message is in there. I don't know what you want me to say. I need your help. No. I've been in a secret off and on again relationship with my brother. D Whoa, what? Oh, I read it wrong. I've been in a secret on and off again relationship with my brother's DL friend for the past four years. When we first started dating, I was okay with it. But now that we've been together for so long, it's bothering me that he doesn't want to come out. And I'm not that type of person. And I'm not that per I'm sorry, I have to get my thoughts out before. You've been dating him for four years and he's still not out? Sorry, let me, where was I at? I was okay with him being together for so long. It's bothering me that he doesn't want to come out. But I'm not the type of person for someone else if they're not ready, so I got it off. We've been separated for two months. Now he's recently texting me saying that someone threatened his life recently and he's almost died. We didn't leave things on a good terms because he thought I was being selfish and I didn't agree with him. So when I got news from him, a part of me cared, but another part of me didn't because as we broke up, I realized how toxic it was. Am I No, you're not. Listen, this is the thing with dating a DL dude. I'm not your secret. Okay, I'm not doing it. And honestly, this is about to sound extremely disrespectful, but I don't care. You're, I, I've been through having to come out. You know, I've been through the drama, the blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing that again. I need to find someone who's out and proud within themselves and knows who they are and is confident within themselves. If you're not that, we're not f You need to wait until you find that within yourself to even look this way. Because why is it your responsibility to keep him safe? What? Hey Winter, before I start, I just want to say you always look amazing. I wouldn't say always, but... My confession is that I am the person at school who has all the tea. For example, I always know if there's a fight, if anyone messed with someone's boyfriend, etc. I may or may not have led to a few things being spread, including the following. Let's call her Ashley. She was fingering... Whoa, whoa! She was fingering herself in class, but with her phone. 
She got caught sucking dick behind the stairs and she was the fakest bitch there was. This one is 100% true. The fucking principal got arrested for making moves on multiple girls. A teacher is a pedophile. This one teacher, let's call her Miss Barry, her husband died and she got into a fight with a parent and she was more into activities with her husband than teaching before he died. There was a fight the other day between a fake girl who I will call Maria, me and my friends, were joking that the same day that she needs to be hit and later that day in the hallway, the new girl swung because she was talking shit and couldn't back it up. I'll say one more for now, even though I have plenty more. Last year, this girl, Poppy, swung at my friend in the head then threatened to have someone pull up on me. Thank you so much. Sorry if this was long. Bye. Girl, what school do you go to? This is messy. Hey Winter, I love your video so much, thank you. But I have a question and I would like to stay anonymous, of course. So long story short, I was in my best friend's wedding as a bridesmaid. I knew everyone who was in our wedding except for one person. We can call him Drake. Anyways, he was gonna be walking me down the aisle and he wasn't there for the rehearsal dinner so I had no idea who this man was. I met him the day of the wedding and oh my goodness, he's tall, handsome, brown eyes, deep voice, ears pierced, just everything. I was in love at first sight. We talked all day and we even exchanged socials. It was an instant connection, I think. How do I ask him how he feels? <gasps> oh. Okay, how do you ask? How do you ask? How do you ask? I like to drop subtle hints. <laughs> I like to drop subtle hints to like get the truth out of them, but I'm also an upfront bitch. So I'll be like, look. I like you and I want you. We can do this the easy way. We can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. If it was me, I would just be like, do you like me? Hello, this is my first time doing a confession, so please bear with me. Love your videos, by the way. Thank you. Okay, so I am currently 19 years old. I have a girlfriend, but she does not know anything about what goes on when I'm not around her on most days. I've been through a point in my life where I get sick and tired of the same cycle. I'll get with someone, it goes good, then I get cheated on within several months of a relationship, but I never leave the relationship till they break it off because I'm just looking for the main woman in my life. Ever since my mother passed away when I was younger, I've always felt alone. I've been with this girl for over a year and she's cheated on me very times but she does not know that I've recently been experiencing with having sex with men. Everyone knows I'm straight, even I know I am straight, but females are starting to hurt me too bad and I've been doing this for a couple months and now only a few men and myself have done these things. Only for sex, not feelings. If there's an opinion or something you want to say, share. Please go ahead. This is my last time bothering you. Sorry for constantly texting you, but please keep this anonymous. Uh, you didn't constantly text me. Opinion. All right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just give it to you. Okay, you can't get mad at me now. I think you should break up with this girl. Um, I understand you're trying to find the main woman in your life, but you're only 19, baby. Like you have so much ahead of you. You have so many more people to meet within your life. I know you're sick of the same cycle, but that cycle is gonna switch the fuck up. Like as you get older, so. Have patience, my love, have patience. And if and I think you should also be single if you're gonna be exploring around. My garage is closing, closing again. I just think for the sake of others' feelings, your feelings, safety, whatever the case may be, you should be single if you wanna go around exploring. Because I think you should, hey, explore and find out what you like and what you don't like because that's gonna be pretty important for your future. Hi, Winter, by the way, you're gorgeously enchanting. Gorgeously enchanting? You're gonna make me blush. No one's ever, oh my god, no one's ever said that. Okay, I'm sorry. So I like my bully. I've had a crush on this guy for the past four years. He is one of those basic blonde, blue-eyed guys that has everything, and I am a brown Hispanic girl from the suburbs. He didn't really start bullying me until these past two years, and it was significantly worse in the past year. He has thrown my stuff out of the library into the hall because I didn't give him answers to an assignment and makes fun of the way I speak. I have a problem with stuttering since I speak two languages and speak too fast. He has made racial comments about me, but I am not convinced he is racist since some of his best friends are Mexicans or of Hispanic origin. I want to strangle him, but I still like him. This man is also way out of my league. I look for your advice, Winter. I wish to remain anonymous. This, I don't want to say is an example of pretty privilege, but why are you letting this man treat you any kind of way just because he's pretty? If this man wasn't as attractive as he was, something tells me you'd beat the out of him. You know what I'm saying? Don't let looks get people, don't let looks give someone a free pass. Hey Winter, confession time. This gets kind of messy. I'm friends with these TikTokers. Oh, they're, oh, 
oh, I'm friends with these TikTokers. They're big creators. I'm a small creator. Anyway, I confessed feelings for one of them. They went live with their friends laughing about it and talking about me. I stopped talking to them and decided to tell them why. Later on, they went live because this other one was mad that I brought their name into the message to the other one. Saying it was not needed to bring up their name, I told them yes it was because they were a part of the reason. I went on to apologize. They kept dragging it on, being a complete bitch about it. So I said, I'm done with this petty ass drama that comes along with you and your friends just starting drama. Ooh, they did not like that. They also said that I went live and talked shit about them and name dropped. That never happened to me and I have proof of it and they will not believe me. Moral of the stories, don't trust big creators who crave drama. Part two of the confession. After spending hours editing them all, defending them behind closed doors, and being nothing but as nice as my little self can, they all stabbed me in the back and I found out they were all talking shit about me. But I've made it clear, if they want to post about me, I'll post about them. I want to stay out the mess, but I kind of want to know what you're talking about. I'm going to stay out the mess, though. Hi, Winter. Love from the UK. Hi, UK. So I have a confession. So the first guy I was ever with invited me up to his house in Sheffield, England. Oh, is that is that like a fancy? I don't know. We chilled, played Xbox, and did the day. Well, this was still a confusing time for me, and I didn't know if I was gay or straight. So after me and him did dirty, I went downstairs to his kitchen, and his sister was awake. We got to talking and had a little drink and how. We got, we got to talking and had a little drink and somehow I ended up sleeping with her. I knew after that I was gay and he still doesn't know that I slept with his sister. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Was this all in the same? You f***ed him upstairs, went downstairs and f***ed his sister? At least you know you're gay, I guess. I don't know. Hello. I'm not sure if this is where I send a confession. It's not. I'm just kidding. It's Instagram DMs. So if I'm wrong, please let me know. Also, your makeup is always amazing. Also, I'd like to stay anonymous, please. You didn't have to say also twice. So I'm with my current boyfriend, soon to be fiance, and our relationship is absolutely amazing. The thing I have to confess is that when we met, we were living in military dorms, meaning it was one room for two people. I sneak into his room so we could cuddle and sleep on the same bed at night since his roommate didn't care. However, while the roommate was asleep, we would do the dirty sometimes. We were both good friends with this person, so I do slash did feel kind of bad about it. There were several times he might have woken up and just decided not to say or do anything. I'm too afraid to ask. Anyway, thank you for your time. <laughs> I've d I, I didn't f in the same room as somebody, but I've done something of the sort in the same room with someone else and they didn't know. <laughs> Should I stop seeing the guy? I'm I'd like to stay anonymous. Me, 19 female, and 21 male, Matt, made up name, have been recently started getting together. Everything is good, including sexy time, except one thing. He's one of the most self-centered people I've ever met. We text often and every conversation leads back to him and his hard life. <laughs> um, I don't want to sound bitchy, but this man is so annoying. Should I stop seeing him if I don't generally like his personality? P.S. It is the best sex I have ever had and I think he wants a relationship eventually and I'm not interested in one. Love you babes and your makeup. Thank you. Basically what I'm asking, does it make me a bad person if I keep on f***ing him if I dislike his personality? Um, I've never done that, but I could see me doing that. I don't think you're wrong. Can you separate dick from personality? Yeah, because it's not like you- yeah, it's not like you're dating him. You can just f*** him and leave. Yeah, I, I don't think you're being a bitch. Confession, I'm a virgin and there's a girl that work that I'm into. I'm a horny fuck, but I can't stop fantasizing about us having the, you know, deed. And I really want to do it with her. I don't think she's into me, but she does flirt with me sometimes. And I low-key want to ask her if she's down, but I don't want to look bad and like if it's my only intention with her. Anyways, love your confession videos. Please do more. Is that not your only intention with her? The only reason I'm reading this and the reason I was making that face, you were calling me. You called me a bunch to tell me this confession. You called me to tell me you want to fuck somebody? Baby. I don't know. Did you think, did you think I was going to like read your confession quicker because you called? Girl, confession here. I once had a manager, we'll call him Jonah. He taught me everything that I know now. I realized I started catching feelings for him. So, sneakily, I asked him for his number and then proceeded to text him once he got off of work and let him know my feelings for him. The next day, he told HR about what I said and I had gotten... What? The next day, he told HR about what I said and I had gotten spoken to a few weeks later. He left the job and DM'd me saying how much of a good worker I was and how much of a good observer I was and it'd be great to catch up sometime. Do you think that was a sign I should text him back and try to start things with him now that he's not part of the company? 
I'd be mad he snitched, but I say, yeah, especially if he's not a part of the company anymore and you still want him, I say, yeah, try it. Hey, Winter, I have a confession. By the way, you're literally gorgeous. Thank you so much. Okay, so I've had a crush on this guy for about nine years, and he's liked me back for as long as we've known each other. I'm sorry. Y'all liked each other for nine years, and y'all just sitting there? Or y'all date? Let me finish reading first. <laughs> um, the thing is, he has dated a lot of my friends. It's kind of funny, though, because my one friend, she dated him, and she said that he ghosted her, like, the day after they broke up. And I was like, oop, couldn't be me. But anyway, he told me like a week or so ago that he said I was really cute out of nowhere and I said, I think you're cute too. We have flirted so many times whenever we hung out. But whenever I talk to my friends that haven't dated him, they're always like, OMG, he's so weird and he's such a cheater and just stuff like that. I don't know what to do. And I've never been in a relationship before. So if I date him, it might turn out bad. Give me your opinion, please. Oh, you know what? You have to taste the fruit before you just believe everybody else that it's sour. I just made that up. And he's dated your friends. You've liked him for nine years. And it's your first relationship. Your first relationship might end up being shitty anyway. So I say go for it. My first relationship ended up being shitty. So I say go for it, hell. Hi, Winter. You're gorgeous as fuck. Thank you. Please keep anonymous. No. I'm just kidding, Asher. I think I have the biggest crush on my coworker. Okay, so a little background information. I started working at this pizza place and he was training me. He is also a flirt too. He is also a flirt too. He is single and 29 years old. I'm 20 years old, but anyway, he has two daughters. I really like this guy. Should I go for him or leave him alone? I've talked to a guy that has kids before, but it never worked out because of the baby mama. But this guy is so different. What makes him different? Like I never met anyone like him before, so please tell me what you think I should do. Thank you. Just because he's different doesn't make his baby mama different. You get what I'm saying? So you're running that risk either way. I don't know. If he likes you back, you like him. I say go for it. All right. That's actually going to be the end of these confessions. So if you liked it, like it. If you have a favorite part, comment it. If you had a favorite confession, which one was it? Now, don't forget, all these confessions were sent to me on Instagram DM. I hate having to repeat that every four seconds. And you may be thinking to yourself, Winter, I don't have Instagram. Then you don't have a confession to tell me. I'm not like creating a whole nother app or I'm not making the, what is it, a Google, a Google thing. I'm not doing that. It's right here on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you just don't have it. It's not going to make or break your life if I read your confession. Like nothing bad's going to happen to you if I read it. Nothing good's going to happen to you if I read it. It just got read. So it's okay. You got to calm down. That's the outro. Bye.